Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Hey, Davey, uh, we're looking at Max warming up out here. How come you're not out there? Because I'm coming to talk to you so that I can go out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would assume that's a, an encouraging sign that he feels well enough to attempt to do this. Yeah, well, I mean, like, oh, we'll see how he gets through it. You know, the, the biggest thing, is, as I always say, it's, it's after the fact. I mean, he got warmed up. He had treatment. You know, they got him ready. He's going to go out there and, and, uh, and, and see, how, you know, see how well he throws. And then it's, it'll probably take him a while, and we'll see how he feels probably tomorrow. But um, you know, the, good, the good news is that he, he feels uh, good enough to uh, actually throw a bullpen. So we'll see how it goes. What's the, the balance for you on something that's nagging like that, of whether to try to push through it or whether to, uh, to say, hey, this isn't worth taking a chance at and you know, think long term? Yeah, you know, right now I'm, like, I'm at the crossroads right now with this because you know, it, it, it is uh, concerning that he did feel that. And we don't want it to get any, any worse. So. Um, like I said, you know, based on the trainers and our medical staff, um, they feel like he can go out there and try to throw a bullpen, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Jessica Camarado, Nationals.com. Hey, Davey, how many pitches is Max going to be throwing today? Um, you know, uh, knowing him, it's probably about 31. <laughs> that's his typical uh -huh. bullpen. Okay, I was gonna say, knowing him, does that mean what you guys told him to do, or that's what Max decided that he? No, wanted? that's 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 his typical bullpen. It's thirty-one pitches. Okay, um, and with the lineup today, Schwarber is back in at the leadoff spot. I know we talked a lot about that yesterday. Well, why did you decide to go with that again today? I mean, you know, you know he got us off to, to a fast start, so let's see if he can do it again today. Um, like I said before, he's done it before. He understands the role. You know, also too that he's as as I told said yesterday that you know. Uh, he'll take his walks and get on base. And, you know, and when, when you got Trey and, and Soto hitting behind you and, and Bell, um, that's a good thing. I know he hit lead off before and you said that he's ready for the big moment, but like what prompted this thought? Was there a specific game or a situation that made you think like this would be the good fit? Well, I think, you know, I think I just wanted to get him up there and hopefully get some, get some more fastballs and get him, you know, get the pitches knowing that, you know, he's leading off, they'll attack the strike zone. Uh, and get the ball in the strike zone for him. Um, you know, he's not, he, he never was a big chaser. I noticed that he chased, he started chasing a little bit. Uh, so now we're just trying to get him back in the zone. And, and so far he's done well up there. So we'll keep him up there for a while, get him going. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Hey, Davey, um, the sample is really small with him so far, but have you noticed any difference in how he's pitched when he's up in the order? Hitting first? Yeah, I think he has getting, gotten a few more fastballs than, than normal. Uh, they've been throwing him a whole a lot of breaking balls, a lot of changeups. Um, you know, and now he's getting fastballs with two strikes. He's been getting elevated fastballs. We're explaining to him that he's got to get he's got to get the ball down. Um, he's really good when when the ball is down in the zone. Even though yesterday he hit a ball almost over his head for a home run, um, yeah. but he's really he's really good when when the ball is down. When when he um when he let off against Glass, now you mentioned kind of wanting to get him two or three at bats against a righty. Do you feel like that maybe because he hits right behind Juan a lot this year that he's getting caught up with a lot of lefty relievers late in games. Like, I don't know if you notice that at all. As like a trend. What I've noticed is, is uh, teams that we play have six lefties, five, six lefties in the bullpen. Right. Um, that's what I've noticed more. So, you know, anytime, you know, second time or third time through the order, um, you know, they're, good, they're switching, you know, they're, and they're going to, to the lefty to face uh, Juan and, and, uh, and Schwarber. So um, with that being said, you know, I know he's taking a lot of swings, uh, in the cage off of left-handed sliders, left-handed curveballs, um, hitting a lot off the machine. I mean, that's that's part of his routine. Um, he's a good fastball hitter, whether it's whether a lefty throws it or, or, or a right-handed pitcher throws it. So, um, but my, you know, part of the part of my my doing with him leading off is against a righty to see if we can get him up there at least at least two or three times against that right-handed pitcher. And Dave, I know these um, it's a younger team that's kind of in a rebuilding phase, and I know uh. You want to win every game, but is it hard not to look at this sort of an opportunity this week for you guys to get your footing and, and try and you know get a few wins under your belt? Yeah, we, we got to focus on just playing baseball and worry, worry about us. You know, I, I never take it for granted that these guys are young and they're, they're for me, it's never about rebuilding in the major leagues. It's about competing. And uh, these guys are going to come ready to compete. So uh, we got to be ready. I mean, uh, you, you know, I looked at some of the, some of their stuff and 
um, that, that play, you know, they play well. So we, we got to come and play baseball the way we're capable of playing. And like I said, you know, the biggest thing is to, to score first and go from there. Dave, um, right now, I know you're not out here, but Paolo Espino's taking BP. Um, is that a sign that if you guys do need a starter this week that you may expect him to get some at-bats? Because we don't often see relievers take batting practice. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, then again, you got to remember, Espino was a starter at one point. So he's, he's been used to hitting. Um, yeah, some, some line drives yeah, right yeah. now. Looks pretty good. He can, hit, hey, he can swing the bat a little bit. <laughs> All right, thanks. Patrick Reddington, Federal Baseball. Hey, Dave, you talked after last night's game about getting uh, Turner and Soto going. I was just digging around on Soto. Uh, what do you see against with him against left-handers left -handers so far this year? He's got a 213 average. He has hit five of his eight home runs against lefties and about half the plate appearances against righties. But uh, the average just isn't there, and it usually has been for him. Yeah, it's about for me, it's about getting getting him to stay on the ball a little bit better. Um, he's pulling off a lot. That's why you're seeing a lot of ground balls, uh, especially the second base. Um, we got to get him to stay on the ball and drive the ball to left center field. If you notice, a lot of his homers have been a center field, left center field um, against these left handed pitchers. Uh, that's when he's really good. So we got to get him to stay on the ball a little longer and you'll start seeing him drive the ball uh, and his average go up against lefties. I mean, he, he's he's not utilizing left field like he normally does, uh, especially with two strikes. With two strikes, he's not afraid to get jammed. He stays on the ball. Uh, I can remember him hitting a lot of line drives right down the third base line just because he, he, he lets the ball uh, travel a little bit longer. So we got to get him to stay on the ball and start hitting the ball uh, left center field. Thank you. Other questions? Anything else? Watch All right. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody.